Good morning. So today, uh, carrying on with um, Snippy Pixie Next development, uh, we're at a point where we need to start working on the actual list of snippets in the GUI. Um, so let's have a quick look at what, where we're at. Uh, yeah, should be able to... Oh. Bring up the daemon and then we'll go into the GUI and we'll just start Wales dev. There we are. So we've got um, a basic list here and I can uh, filter it, but now we need to actually do something with the list, make it into a usable list, because at the moment it's not so much. So I'll we'll go over here, let's resize this, stick it up in the corner, and do some stuff. Okay, so this was the input, input component up here. Uh, so we can get rid of that at the moment. We don't need that anymore. Um, so we're getting the results of that search. Uh, in, where are we? Yeah, so we're going here. This is where that list comes from. Um, so at the moment, we, it's just a dummy a placeholder. We've got um, a paragraph with the abbreviation, a dash, and then the snippet body. Um, what we want to do is make some sort of component um, that can go in the list. Um, and I think ideally we're going to want this whole uh, section uh, to be in a component of its own. Uh, because we're going to want to do like keyboard navigation and things like that. Um, and that's a lot easier if we have like a, a component to contain it. So what we're going to do here, I guess we just want a snippets list component or list snippets uh, intend source components um yeah we'll just do list snippets i'm going to do it the uh try and keep things named correct uh, in a similar manner so we're going to have, yeah, just list snippets, I think. Hmm. Might be nice just to have a snippet list and then a snippet list item. No, I'm going to keep the same method. Change my mind again. All right. Naming is like the hardest thing in programming. Snippets list. Yeah. Okay. So basically in here, we're going to want to pull in this stuff. Um, 
I'm going to want to have a snippets list here. And eventually we'll have a snippets equals, and then we're going to have search results being pushed in. Uh, so stick that in there for the moment. Um, and then we're going to have this renamed to snippets as they come in. And then we're going to do export let snippets. And it's required, so we'll leave that without any kind of specification of what it is. Um, and I think in theory that should mean we're still back where we are, where we were here. So that should still work, he says, hopefully. And so that should still work. Let's double check. Let's do um, I think I can do like an index on here, can't I? Something like that. Right, then let me look at the uh, for each because I'm pretty sure I can get like a numeric although that might be hmm let's see it would be really handy if I can Oh, it is index. Oh, <laughs> of course. I didn't put it I didn't make it uh usable. <laughs> okay. It was just a string, it wasn't well there we go. That's better. Right, now we don't want zero and one there, so just like in there we'll do that. Okay. Right, so we're starting to get a bit better there. Um this is the kind of thing we want. I want to have um, in the existing SimpyPixie, see when you bring up uh, the shortcuts you do have a list one through zero zero being 10 in this case um, it's usually quicker and easier just to hit one if you want to use that um, then zero depending on yeah how you how your brain works I guess um, and it's just like the first through tenth um, so that, that's a shortcut, so that if you're actually on the list, you can just hit um, the number and it will uh, copy that into the um, pasteboard and then paste it. Um, so I will basically, I'll keep that, but we're going to do some different formatting. Uh, we're going to have to do something different here about the structure of it, otherwise we're not going to be able to navigate this list. We're going to need some sort of container. I 
and I'm not sure what. I'm not sure how how is best to handle this. We could use Well, there's a bunch of different ways we could do this. We could do it as a list. We could do it as a def. We could like a, an ordered or unordered. Um, we could use definition, a dictionary type thing. Um, or we could simply do it. Mm could potentially do it as a highly stylized select and multi-select oh, not multi but single hmm Good thing about doing that No, but then I wouldn't have the components because the thing I'm going to need or I think I'm going to do is have like edit and delete well not delete buttons, I think I have edit buttons rather than have the separate style of window. Still, still not sure on that, but okay, let's let's think about this. I think maybe a div. Div to get going, and then uh, we've got something to target if we need to do any keystroke stuff. I won't even decorate it at the moment. It's just there so that I know I've got something. Actually, I will. I will give it a. Will I give it an ID or just a class? I'll just give it a class. <clears throat> okay, let's tighten that up already. Um, let's have I think I need more data in here. So let's go let's do a couple of things. So we'll fire up the existing snippet pixie and we will export the snippets. And we'll call it snippets uh, 2022 05. What's the date? 18th dot JSON. We'll save that. 
wipes that off. And then we haven't actually got um, any way to import to the GUI yet. So we're going to have to do it here. It's OK. So at the moment, um, if I do a list, we should just have the two there. I am going to Shall I leave them in? Yeah, might as well. Um, and then I'll do a import. Uh, and now I've got to remember how this works. Let's do What did I do? Oh, I didn't set up help. No, I did. Huh. Invalid command. What the? Did I do something weird there? Okay. We will do import uh, minus F. Hopefully this works. There we go. 88 imported. Uh, if I do that, here they are. Now, this is way too long. We don't want the full body. We just want an abbreviation of it. And we don't want this either. So what we're going to have to do is in that div, make it like scrollable. Uh, that's the other reason why I wanted the div. Uh, we don't want the search box to disappear. And we don't want this scroll bar here. We want this bit to be um, done. But first of all, let's clean up. Uh, so there's a couple of things here. We don't want numbers for every single one. We only want the first 10 to have numbers. Uh, so that's an easy fix, hopefully. Um, well, can I do that in line? Actually, let's not. Let's do it as a or function uh, so as to whether it shows or not we're gonna have well that's a good point what do I get on here oh, yeah, it just bumps into the front that's not good I've lost formatting these used to have like a pill on them so you could easily see they were kind of like a button. But in this particular theme that I've got, we don't have like that button. So that's not great. So we want something better than that. Um, all we'll do then is... Hmm. Kind of want another little component for that, I think. Let's have um, short cut. No, that's going to clash with other things I want to do. Let's call it something unique for this quick a 
Actually, I'll just call it number button. Number button. That'll do. You can always rename it later. Um, okay. Export let um, might call it index button in a minute actually. Hmm, yeah. Export let, uh, yeah, I'm going to call it index. And I will have it. I will do zero. Then we're going to have here a simple I'm going to go do something really daft here now. So what we'll do is we'll just have a span. And it will have a class of, oops, the button for the moment until I change my mind. And Gonna have to have a data thing, I think, as well. Actually, thinking about it, this is going to be inside another component. So, Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have
I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have that call just a number. And take that out. And I'm going to have a simple thing that says um, if I basically want to have a, a class that says whether we display the number because it exists or just basically keeps a placeholder because I'm going to, well, it's going to just display it differently. So what I'm going to do is I just have display. I can do that. Um display equals Actually, it's easier if I call it hide and just do that. And then class hide. And then here, we simply display the number, close off the span, and then I'll, I'll not do it just yet, I'll do it in a sec. Um, so that we can see the difference, but what we should be able to do then is, right, I need another component, because I'm not going to muck about with just doing it in here. I'm going to have another component called um, snippets list item. And in here, we're going to do the stuff that we're doing in here effectively. So I'll do a script um, and it's going to be export let snippet and export let index um, and then we're going to do something like const number equals index is less than less than 10 And just in case index is greater than zero, uh, we will then do um, index plus one. Otherwise,
Now, why is that complaining? Hmm, this is true. So, index. So, if the index exists and it's less than 10 and greater than 0, let's, uh, let's just swap that. Oops. That's not true, actually. What we want is greater than equal to 0 or less than 10, then I want to use it, and the 0 becomes 1, and blah blah blah, and 9 becomes 10. Huh. That's not going to quite work. So let's just do a let here, and then we'll do I'm just going to do a second thing. If just do a quick and dirty if number equals 10 then number equals 0 okay Just if I remember. Um, so that should get us a new number. And then in here, we are going to use a number button now. Take that out, I think. And I'm going to pass in number. number, number, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So in theory, we've got a little span with a number on it. Eesh. Okay. I'm probably changing this away from a power graph later anyway, but that's fine. And number Okay, and snippets list. Uh, we should probably use it. So at the moment, if we do this, it's gone. Because we haven't got any snippet uh, items. So snippet list item. And we're passing in the snippet. And the index. And that's it. And there they are. Oh, I'm getting null there for the first one. That's interesting. But the rest are through seven, eight, nine, zero, and then null. Oh, no, okay. Right. Uh, not quite what we wanted. So index comes in. truth in it.
Hmm. So in that case, be careful there. All right, what we'll do is we'll do my um, minus one, and then we don't need to worry about this. So if nothing comes in, if it's not set, basically, we're going to get minus one as the index, um, which means this first test fails, and we get null. Um, And then yeah, that's fine. Because that's yeah, I want uh, yeah. At this point, it should still be a number or null. Basically, I'm just making sure I've got the right numbers in. Um, and then in the number button, um, yeah, so what we can do. First of all, let's make sure we've got a zero. We've got one up there. We have. So we've got one, two, three, four, blah, 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 and then null. Let's do this then. Try not to put a another if in there. I could do. But I want to restyle it differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do number button uh, by default. Um, we will have we'll have the same style in as an input. basically, I think, I can change it in a minute. This might be a mistake. No, it's not, it's not bad. That's okay. I can live with that. Nice and compact, but still obvious. Um, and then on a hide, I still want it.
still want it to exist. And take up space. But don't want it visible. So try that. Cool, okay. And I expected that. Uh, it's got too because it where it's a null now, it's too much. It's interesting that, that hasn't got so much as that. Why is that? Oh, zero. Why am I losing zero? Oh, because I've got the... Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, can't do truthy here again. Um, we'll do it properly then. Uh, number... And then I want to just check out that again. Okay, that's better. I've got a zero back. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Um, and then I've got these nulls. So Be sneaky here. I could do num. Oh, I can't do truthy again. Okay, because I want a zero, it really mucks things up with JavaScript. Um, so what we can do, I'm just gonna have to use an if. It's just gonna have to. All right, if hide. then we will simply do a uh, no break space. I don't know if that's going to work. Yep. Why is that not reformatting? Strange. There we go. So that just puts it back in alignment. Because you'll see that if um, if I hide, if I take off the visibility hidden here, it's just going to be empty. Which is good. That's what I want. Mm. 
I'm probably going to wrap everything in a another border here. Obviously, that's going to be chopped down, but they can have more space in and all kinds of things. Um, but we'll get there. Uh, so we have we have pills on there. We have a list. We just need to bring everything in, but I'm running out of time. So maybe that's the next thing we do is to actually make this scrollable. Um, but I'll st I'm going to have to. Yeah, that takes that's going to take. It'll be a, it's a bit fiddly when you do that kind of stuff. I have to sort out some different CSS. Uh, now, do I want to muck about with this just now? No, I'll leave it as is because I, I do need to go. Um, yeah, that's the start. So we have list component. Um, so we have a snippets list with snippets list items, um, and then we have a new number button, which is a bit messy. Especially with this being up here. I have a feeling that I might take this in, put it in here. But yeah. Anyway, we're done for today. Um, so uh, until next time, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and take care. Bye.